Hello, here are some quick instructions on how to complete your mill report. Of course, this is for your Texas road trip project. I hope that you are enjoying creating this wonderful itinerary and that by now you have designed a really wonderful trip for yourself. And um, let's just jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this second slide right after uh, my intro slide here. Uh, remember that you have $2,000 that you're gonna have seven days to spend. And believe it or not, that's gonna go pretty quickly. So you'll need to be pretty careful uh, as you plan your trip. Now, when we go to the instructions for our mill report, just keep in mind that you do need to feed yourself three meals a day and go ahead and plan on visiting at least one restaurant because I want you to get practice, get um, calculating 8%, sales tax and 15% gratuity. This is a review of a concept that we've already discussed in the, earlier in the year. When you go to slide number 21, I want you to complete all of the blanks here. So you're gonna plan a meal for one day. You're gonna plan your breakfast, you're gonna plan your lunch and your dinner for one day. So I want you to Write all of the answers to these blanks in and calculate your sales tax and your gratuity if you're at a restaurant. Now, you don't have to eat at a restaurant every meal, but at least one meal you need to visit a restaurant for this exercise. When you're done creating this menu for the day, I want you to add the cost of your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner and put them in this uh, field right here. Okay, so I've got the big old arrow, arrow pointing to it, and uh, you're going to put your total for that one day in this blank. Now, I do have an example over here on the right hand side so that you can see exactly what I'm looking for. I want yours to look just like this, except with your numbers. Now, I did uh, for mine, I Googled menu options and what the cost of each menu item was. And uh, that way, my, my uh, numbers here were very accurate. After you complete slide 21, please move on then to slide 22. You're going to start on the left-hand column with entering your number from slide 21. So whatever your co food cost for the day was, I want you to put that in this field. You're going to multiply that number times 7, just like it's shown here. And then your the product of that, your answer, will go in this blank right here. This will be your total food estimate for the entire trip. When you're done completing slide 21 and 22, please go to Google Classroom and open up your meal report that I have right here. It looks just like this. You have five questions to answer, and this is what I'm expecting. You're going to put your total cost for breakfast. This number that goes right here, you're going to put the answer in this field. The same with lunch and dinner. When you add all three of those numbers together, you're going to put that answer in this field. And then this fifth question says, what is your total estimate for the entire trip? So after you multiply this number times seven, you put the answer here. That's it, folks. Then you hit submit. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have a short instructional video on your lodging report. So I hope that you do well. If you are struggling and you need a little extra assistance, don't worry. I will be available this afternoon at 3 p.m. That's Wednesday, 3 p.m. for a Zoom tutorial. All right. So best wishes, guys. Let's do some math.